Hello everybody. So um, after my last video I saw that um, there was uh, some confusion probably on the on the way these, this mod is applied. A lot of people ask me uh, the, the diode, the resistor, where does it go, how do I, you know, set it, uh, solder it or whatever. So um, I think maybe I will show you how I did it um, for you know those who ask me I think it's better to see it uh, at least you understand because I tried explaining but um, I guess it's uh, it's more universal pictures are better than words in this case so first thing you do this is the BK my old BK11 one okay um, doesn't matter B BK11 BL18 CA if it's this type this is what you have to do so remove before before using it. First things first, unscrew the top screws, remove this uh, little cover. Um, as you can see, uh, this is the MCU board, okay? So first thing, MCU board, check the revision. In this case, as you can see, it's a BL18, can be CA, whatever, but uh, if you flip it around, you will see there is an MCU on the right. Uh, and a bunch of the resistors here on the left. Now, this is what you have to check. First things first. First, resistor mod. This is the um, suggested mod. Um, when I speak about R4, here it is. It's this resistor here. Okay, it's labeled R4 on the MCU board. You can remove this one. This is a 1K original and put in um, another SMD if you have one or simply use just a classical quarter watt resistor and you bend the legs so that they can fit you know bend them around uh, make an s and just solder them on the two contact pads where it's written r4 you see above it that's r2 it's normal that that one is not present don't worry it didn't fall off it they just didn't mount it so you remove this R4 and just simply solder on the two contact pads um, a resistor. Uh, if you have a quarter watt like this or maybe even smaller, but anyhow, you just cut the legs, make an S and solder them one on this on this pad here, and the other one on this pad here. Okay, that's, I mean, I think that was pretty straightforward. Uh, I don't think I have to show you. I know the pads are small, but... Um, you know, place it as you wish, maybe a little bit L here or whatever. I had another SMD resistor, so I swapped it out with that. And then check if uh, there is um, the resistor is in place correctly. It goes, I'll flip it around, I'll show you again. It goes to this pin here. You see this, this is pin four, this one. And you can see the trace and it goes through this via. Uh, so just check with a tester that this pin here this is pin four here. From here to the resistor or pin 19, you have um, 470 or whatever ohms resistor you put it. 500, 560, it's fine. Just stay around that value, okay? And this is the first one. Uh, I think most of you uh, got this and have done it without any problems. Now, the second one, get the board, okay? Don't worry, okay, this is the first one, as I said. So. Uh, first thing you need to do is pull up the big 10,000 microfarad cap. I put tape here because it was hitting it, but this is the cap. And what you need to do is unsolder this diode. Okay, this is the diode. What I did is I flipped it around 180 degrees. Okay, so the orientation of this diode goes from positive. Let me get a little tweezer here so I can show you this is the positive contact it is wired to here this pad here it goes from positive through here you see this is the direction this this way and it's going to this track and then it's going to the uh, positive side of this big ass cap and then it's powering the rest of the uh, driver circuit here okay and in fact, you can see the plus side of the cap is labeled here. So this left side, you have to free it, okay? That's how I did it. Uh, and you sit and you solder in series, 
a resistor. So let's do that. Let me get a hope you can see maybe I will zoom in a little bit more but I should be should be good enough Already like this Let's see maybe like this okay I know I'll try and do it with the camera here in the middle uh, okay the way I install it is just apply uh, and enough solder so that This side and this side will come off, okay? Just heat it. And you will see that when you, uh, there it is, it's gone, okay. So, now, I just, I didn't turn it around, okay? Wait, maybe, okay. I didn't turn it around, I didn't touch it. The direction goes from positive, which is here, to this side, okay? This is the direction. So plus is here, I mean, the plus is coming from here and it's going to this end. This is actually the positive side here. And this is the diet, you see? Now, if you have any doubt, just break out your tester and measure the uh, the uh, cathode and, and anode so you know what it is. What do I do now? As I said, it's going from here to here. Wait, let me get my tester, so... Check it out directly. It's a large fluke here, but okay. Uh, maybe this is too big. Get my smaller tester. Okay. okay this is the little one here. Let me zoom out. Put it into diode. Okay. The light is exactly, of course, in the way. Let me try and move this. Maybe like this. Okay. So, let's see. One way, and it's got about 0 0.5 volt drop, you see? So the plus goes through here, and then this is the direction, okay? That's the arrow. On the other end, on the other end nada. There. So, what do we need to do? We need to solder this end. Okay, I'll zoom in again so you can see better. Back to the board. Okay, we need to solder this end always to this side, because we don't want to change the die direction. So what I did is you flip it around. 180 degrees, okay, like this, there you go, and solder it in place. Use a uh, pair of tweezers. Okay, do you see? Yes, okay. Okay, and that's the first part. So, simply turning it around Okay, the, uh, you're now sending, this is the direction. Now, what's left to do is from this end here, solder a resistor, all the way, and the other side here. Okay, that's a serious connection. So, many people thought that I was soldering it in parallel or something. Maybe they didn't see or I wasn't like clear enough. This is what you have to do. You can do it in other ways, of course. Uh, you can cut a track or whatever. But I found this the let's say the most the least invasive way. So you take your resistor here. Uh, this is what I had lying around. Let's see what is this. Let me check. Well, you can check it here too with the color codes. That's okay. This is the way you read it. Uh, okay. Let's see if you can. Yeah, you can see it. So it's a red, 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 black, and then there is a golden brown stripe. So it should be 220, that's 22 ohms, okay? You see that? Okay. I'll check with my tester. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Okay. And it's... 22 point something. Okay, but it's 22 ohms. Oh, you can't see it, but I'll show you. 
22.5, but that's okay. So back to the circuit. Now, what I did is like, you can put it on this side. There is, there is enough, enough space. That's why I, um, I uh, decided to go this way. And as you can see, bend this leg like this. You can cut it there and solder it. And then the other side on the other side of the uh, diode. So here you have, you, you here, here's the mod. I will do it. Okay, so let me cut this more or less here. Basically, that's that's where it can go. Okay, I'll just use my finger here and get a little bit burnt, but you know, you can sacrifice yourself for the job there. So, and the other end is, can you see it? Yes, because I'm looking at through both things uh, here. And I will also more or less cut this right here, there. So, okay, you just level it up. Dab of solder and that's it. There you go. And there you have it. That's all there is. As you can see, there is uh, enough distance from the resistor to uh, the other components here. As you can see, this is the BK11. It doesn't have those two uh, resistors uh, post-modded here. This one needs the um, mod on the back, which I did. It's it's under, if you can see, they're there, but I've showed this and you already know that. So that's how this mod is done. Don't solder this diode, flip it around 180, keep the, um, the um, direction, keep this contact soldered where it is. You just turn it around, you pivot it, okay? If you imagine it, you just pivot this around, then insert that resistor. This is one side and the diode is, end is the other. There you have it. So the positive will go through here, through the resistor and then to the cap. And that will save your diode. Okay? And of course, check your diode before because if you're if you haven't used it and it's new, of course it will be good. But if you've been using it and you've, you know, noticing some weird stuff, check this diode. That's pretty easy, just check it and see if it's shorted or not. Uh, I showed you before, mine isn't, so it's it's this is fine. That's because I did some testing with this, but I was always using uh, my other battery and uh, before connecting it, I had a power supply connected to this. So this was practically always um, on in parallel and then I connected the battery. So this actually never discharged and I really, you know, um, I always uh, first started with the power supply, which is very, very, uh, it's limited in uh, to one amp. I did it on purpose so that when I was testing, I could short this out, do various tests and it wouldn't blow up. You know, I, that's how I kind of diagnostic diagnose the the problems um while you're at it you can take a look around and check if the solderings are okay if there's no weird stuff here as you can see i this i reinforced these these tracks you really don't need to what you can do is you can add some solder if you want but okay i mean this will add some slight resistance if you don't do it but it's not a big deal i did it on both sides here i was a little bit uh, doing some tests. Uh, this is the FET that blew up, but okay, that's out of the scope of this video. I already spoke about that. So this mod, that's what you need to do. I hope that was clear enough for everybody. Uh, I repeat it again. The diode is here. Check it. Um, unsolder it. Turn it around, okay, like I did, you know, turn it around. So the side that is soldered on this pad, it should always remain soldered on this pad instead of facing this way. Instead of facing this way, just make it face this way, okay? So you're flipping it around, and then this side is free. Take the resistor you have, 20 ohms, whatever, 50 ohms, 100 ohms. It's really not a big deal. You can even use 100 ohms. It'll just take more to charge, uh, you know. Uh, the only thing is that don't just connect your battery and immediately spot well. Just leave it uh, 10 seconds or so. Um, but yeah, you know, it takes about... Uh, I don't know, if I think a few seconds if you have a 50, mil, uh, 50 ohms resistor to charge a 10,000 cap from to 12 volts. I did some calculations, but anyhow. Um, you flip it around, solder this side to the resistor and the other side here. As you can see, the resistor fits nicely. This is a quarter watt resistor again. Um, that's it. 
if this diet is broken and it's shorted, then of course you're gonna need to uh, replace it with well, basically any 1N4007, 4005. I mean, 4 double, the number at the end is just a voltage, so you can even swap it for a 4001 or 4004, to be honest. What is important is that it can handle at least that one amp or so continuous, so at least, you know, it's kind of um, on the safe side. Uh, usually peak currents, they can handle several times that for a few, you know, like a millisecond or so. But well, this one can handle, um, it's at 30 amps. And as you can see, it's still able to break it, but okay. Uh, if you co connect a, a very, very powerful battery straight on, and after a few times it will fail. And then you will then you will see the results on your FETs when uh, soldering. So, okay. Uh, this is what I wanted to um, get out there as quickly as possible so everybody who has uh, any you know doubts or questions will will be able to see it visually then you just bend this back as you did it and just you know uh, put the board back and uh, this is actually this is bo this board is actually not its board it's this one but this is the one that I um, you know my MCU died and swapped out but okay just for demonstration and to show you, again, R4. This is R4. When I'm speaking, when we speak about R4, we're talking about R4 on this board, okay? Because, uh, yeah, I was showing the other day the, uh, the schematic where there is uh, also a, a, maybe a label of an R resistor, but that's it's not um, wasn't relevant. Uh, this is the R resistor here, okay? Um, so, if you get this board, first thing you need to do, uh, Swap this resistor out here, as I said, with a 470, 560, that's the range uh, resistor. Uh, if you don't have anything and don't and you don't want to swap it out, I probably think the board won't, I mean, it, 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 the FETs won't really die, but uh, especially if you have that diode fix here. But as I said, I see it's very well saturated with this value here, and I suggest you, you do it. This is just to keep those gates when they turn on fast and and, uh, and off fast but especially on okay to get that that high, fast uh, switching and um and this diode oops and this diode mod so wait, let me go back is it here okay so that's all i wanted to talk about other stuff but i see a lot of um there was a lot of kind of kind of some semi panic so I think uh, this should be enough. Bye-bye and happy modding.